Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing you um, a little bit of my story for my first video. Um, as you may or may not be aware, um, Donate Life Week was a couple of weeks ago. It um, ran through from Sunday the 23rd of February till the 2nd of March and I am a big advocate for Donate Life because um, You'll see, Donate Life contacted me, they said, would you like to share your story, we'll fly you and your family, meaning my mum and dad, up to Sydney and you'll appear on Sunrise Couch talking to uh, Koshi, but turns out that Koshi wasn't there, and we had Daniel O'Keefe. Let's just watch the interview, shall we? Alright, let's. A couple from Bendigo in Victoria have shown the extraordinary lengths they'll go to for their daughter. They've each donated a kidney to save 21-year-old Becky's life. Here's reporter Nick Etchells with this fantastic story. It's a big moment for any young adult, and for that matter, their parents. Um, I'm looking at going to America with Kentucky with one of my best friends. Most would consider it a rite of passage. The shopping is amazing. You'll have such a great time in Las Vegas. Never been overseas whatsoever. <laughs> that Becky Johns can even contemplate a trip like this is something of a miracle. Ten years ago, she was on dialysis because of a rare kidney disorder. And it's actually called infantile polycystic kidneys. So what happens is that the kidneys get taken over by cysts and multiply and multiply and multiply and multiply until eventually the kidney can't function. Doctors transplanted a kidney from her father, Paul. But almost immediately, her mum, Sue, brought bad news from the doctors. She said, um, she said the kidney transplant has gone wrong. They're going to have to... Take the kidney out tomorrow and you're going to start hemodialysis. And I said no, but I just wanted to prove the doctor's wrong because my dad gave me that kidney for my 12th birthday. I wasn't going to let them take it out. She did prove them wrong. That kidney ended up lasting four years. Then Becky's mum gave one of her kidneys. Now at 21, Becky can contemplate doing something as normal as a holiday. We're just so proud of her. I mean, she's such an inspiration and our rock. They're under no illusions, though. Her transplanted kidney won't last forever and she will need another. But we were in a really privileged situation to be able to do that ourselves. But in the future, we're going to be relying um, on the generosity and the understanding of other families out there. Their message, become a donor and, more importantly, tell your family. Think about donating your organs because... It changes lives. It gave me a second chance at life. Nick Upsell's reporting there. If you need a good reason to donate your organs, well, she's sitting right here on the couch with me. Becky, Sue and Paul join us this morning. How are you? Great. You're feeling good? You're healthy? Very healthy, Good yes. to hear. Looking forward to that holiday by the sound of it. Very excited. Yeah. Now, but Paul, that was a rather expensive 12th birthday gift. Yeah, it <laughs> a was. Kidney. Yeah. Did, no. you, did you think twice about this? No. I mean, I said right from the day that she was born that I wanted to be the first to donate that kidney. So. Mm. Mm. I mean, is it, it's, it's a huge procedure, presumably, for both of you. Well, it was for me. I actually ended up with about a 17-inch scar from yeah. my groin right round to my back. Sure. And, uh, yeah, it took me a long time to get over it. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah no, I can imagine. Good. And Sue, for you? Um, mine was much easier. My scar was a bit smaller than my appendix scar. But um, I think the emotional joy yeah. just overrides all of that pain. It's yeah. just It's different. Of course. And, and Becky, I mean... You know, the first kidney lasted four years. Yeah, How long since mum kidney. gave you her kidney? Um, it'll be four years, June the 10th this year. Okay, and so that one's still going strong as far as we know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. but it's not it's not going to last forever, right? Probably, Probably not. not. Yeah. Right. I hope okay. so. But... Yeah. yeah well, so there's a possibility that it might. Yeah. Right. Well, well, 
not really, but like I've met people who have had um, a kidney transplant and they're up to their 30, 30 like they've, it's lasted 33 years. So wow, wow, that's terrific. There's hope for me. Yeah. Well, I think an important point that you made at the end of the story there, not only should you tick your transplant box, but talk to your family about it beforehand because there have been a few cases where the family have overridden the wishes of the deceased, haven't they? Yeah, okay. that always happens. And yeah. the families at that time are really grief-stricken, yeah. they're in a traumatic yeah. situation, so at the Indeed. back of their head, if they had the idea that that's what that person wanted, it's, it's yep. going to make that decision a lot easier Indeed. and enable someone like Beck or someone else to have a whole new life that they didn't have before. Terrific. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Paul. Becky, Thanks. great to see you. Enjoy that <laughs> holiday. I will. Uh, this you. week is Donate Life Week, so if you'd like to know more about organ donation, just head to our website. Sammy. Let's go, Becky. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my story. If you have any questions or um, comments, just leave them below. Like this video and subscribe. Ugh. Subscribe if you want more videos from me. I'll be posting more beauty videos, collabs. Just wanted to introduce my story for the first video. And I would like to give a big shout out to Gemma Kate Beauty because she helped contribute make me want to do this video for you guys and i hope you enjoyed it so yeah subscribe for more videos from me